Hey guys, I have a um, ThinkPad T420 here that I paid, or T430 actually, sorry. And I've been looking all this stuff up, I've been looking up for T430, but this, it'll, pretty, pretty close anyway. But, uh, so I have a T430 here that I got for, I think it was like, it was less than, it wasn't more than $150. It might have been less than $100, I can't remember. Got it on eBay. Um, just used, it's not, I don't think it was refurbished or anything. I mean, the battery in it's not that great. What I'm going to do though is use this as a, um, kind of like a NAS, like a network attached storage. And the reason I um, am going to use this for that is because, well, I'll show you. So, first of all, it came with this, which is just a 320 gigabyte hard drive. You can't see that, sorry. Um, so, that's not big enough for an ass. Well, at least for my, my stuff. So, I bought two, two terabyte hard drives, these little guys. Actually, the sad thing was an external hard drive was actually, I got one of these two terabytes too, just for uh an off-site type backup. So that external hard drive is actually cheaper than the internal ones, which I don't think that used to be the case. I think that's a new -er thing now that the external are more popular, I guess, supply and demand, whatever. So anyway, this is the, so I, I took off the, this part right here on the ThinkPad. That's the, if, so this is the ThinkPad, like, you know, right set up. So it's on the left side of the, where your left hand would be if you had it right side up. So it's right here, where like the USB ports are. You pull that off, it's just one little screw. It was super easy, I just use this keychain knife. And you know, so I popped that off and then the hard drive was right in there. I just pulled this little tag out so that I could pull it. And there's the hard drive. So I'm gonna put the new one in. So this is the first hard drive. Um, I, I want two hard drives, actually three. I have the external hard drive, and then I want two right in the computer so I can, uh, you know, have two hard drives in case one fails. So some redundancy there. Uh, I don't need more redundancy than that because my data is honestly it's not really that important anyway. I guess. So, uh, all right. So I'm gonna take these little. Uh, rockers or whatever the heck you call them off there and oh crap I think I gotta unscrew this yeah I gotta unscrew that all right so it's gonna be four little screws there's two on the side there and then two on the other side pull those off Working on computers is so much easier than working on cars. I was just messing around with my car the other day. And see, I, I don't mind having old computers because I kind of like working on them. Having old cars sucks because <laughs> unless you like working on them. And, you know, it's not so bad if it's like summer, but it's like whenever crap happens and it's like the middle of winter, that's when it sucks. Especially if you live in Pennsylvania, where I do. And winters aren't that fun. Oh crap, just left. Alright, so those are little, those are really short little screws. They got a big, it's deceptive because they got a pretty big head on them, but they're short. So, careful not to lose those. Pull them out. That's, the good news is that, that means I'm almost done unscrewing all these. <laughs> I'll just do it by hand here. Okay, that one's stuck a little bit. Sorry for all the key jingling. That's probably picking up pretty loud on the camera. All right, so that comes off yes, and it kept the tag with it, which is what I wanted. So here's the old drive uh, that was in. Okay, yeah, so the. Just look at all the old ones in there and put the new one in the same way. Screw it in. 
So this process really is not, I'm not expecting to take long at all, just replacing the hard drives. That's what's one of the coolest things about these older ThinkPads where you can replace this stuff. Like that was so easy. I removed five screws total and like, um, the video is at five minutes right now. The first screw that I didn't have on the video took me literally like two seconds to remove. So, you know, replacing a hard drive in five minutes, that's awesome. It's not like a, not as good as like maybe a, an actual server where you can hot swap them. <laughs> and, you know, just flip a little tag, flip a little tag or switch or whatever. And, but, but man, also, this is... This whole setup is like, I don't know, about half the price of probably of a, of like a MyCloud or a, you know, something like that. And uh, this is a lot more customizable as well as, as far as the software side of things goes. You know, I can, I can actually, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put, just put Ubuntu server on here. So I, you know, I'm going to use it as a file server. Um, but I, I could, all, I, you know, I could use it for a lot of other stuff too. I, I'll probably use it as a Plex server somewhat, except Plex makes me mad because it, like, half the time it just doesn't work for me. It's, and it's, it's like not like a new, a new program anymore. I paid for like a lifetime membership like three years ago, when they had their cloud, when they were gonna do the Plex cloud, and then like a year ago they stopped doing that. So, I still have it. I mean, because it's a lifetime membership. But it just doesn't, in my experience, doesn't work all that great. So I might just, I'll probably just do, I don't know. What I've been doing lately is when I want to watch like a movie or something that's on the file server, I just copy it over and use VLC. On, you can get VLC on anything. Okay, I'm... I oh, know I got all screws. So what I do is just copy it. Like if I want to watch a movie on my iPad, I just, from the file server, from a file share, I just copy it over to my iPad and and then I just uh, use VLC to play it. If I want to stream it to like a Chromecast, then I just copy it to whatever and stream it to Chromecast, like from VLC, that's easy. So, uh, yeah, so, I don't, I wouldn't use Plex to like, for like, outside of my network anyway, because I don't like having my network open like that. Um, so, yeah, so, anyway, basically just, this is just going to be a file server, but I could, I mean, I could do it like, I make it like a web server, or, you know, you, you can get real creative whenever you have a full server operating system is at your disposal, and this is, I mean, this got a pretty solid, it's, you know, it's an i5, uh, the pass mark on it was like, it was at least 4,000. It was pretty good. It's similar to, uh, like a 2013 MacBook Pro. It's pretty comparable as far as the hardware specs. So. Put this in there. And hopefully I can get the tag in there still. Yeah, it's gonna get one. Okay. I think that's in. Put this back on. Maybe. I you know what I might do too is I might do like a VPN type thing. Like make my own VPN server. Cause I've always kind of wanted to do that and I never have done it. And I'm pretty sure it's it's probably pretty easy to find a guide to do that online with Ubuntu server. So I might do that. And I can just VPN into my network, you know, I'll, I'll definitely have, what one thing I'll have on here is either Chrome remote desktop or some other remote desktop where I can, you know, remote into it. Um, you, you always want that on the server anyway, just th that way you can put the server off someplace where it's out of sight. And then if you ever just want to connect to it, you don't have to, you know, pull it out. You just, you just remote into it. All right, that's not tight yet, but that's good enough for right now. So here's my other hard drive. I bought this this shell uh, adapter thing was 16 bucks on Amazon. 
and then the hard drive itself is a two terabyte, uh, you know, regular laptop hard drive, seven millimeter. And this is so easy. Watch this. This is how easy this is to to swap. It. This is literally like almost like being hot swappable. So I mean, it's just super easy. So you push the. There's an unlock here, and then there's a, a, a lever here. So you push the unlock to unlock it, and you push the lever, and it pops it out. And this is the. That's the DVD drive. See how it says that DVD multi. So pull that out, stick this in. If I ever want to use a DVD, I'll install the operating system on it and everything on this drive. Then if, you know, just use this as the backup. And if I ever want, I can just pull this out and use it. But actually I have an external Blu-ray Blu drive that I use for, you know, if I ever want to um, copy Blu-rays or rip Blu-rays. So I have that anyway, so I won't, I won't even ever swap that out. But it's so awesome how easy that was. I just made this into like a, a NAS. Um, installing Ubuntu server, that's easy. That's super easy. Just a USB flash drive. Um, and I've got, you know, I don't know what you call that. Mirrored, I guess just mirrored drives. And that's all I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll try to do it like striped so it's faster. What is that raid? I can't, I'm not bad with all the raid stuff, but like, I feel like it's raid zero where nah, that's not mirrored though. Then I don't think, I think it's just faster, but it's not redundant. So whatever, the main thing I want is redundancy. So, um, do that. And then I'll have that external drive as another backup and yeah, that's it. That's like freaking awesome. That's so easy. I'm so happy about how easy that was and cheap. So $150, the drives are kind of expensive, that, like 80 bucks a piece for two terabytes drives. So that's where the expense is, but you're gonna have that expense if you buy a NAS anyway, like a MyCloud or a, a QNAP or you know any of those, Buffalo, whatever they call those. So yeah, that's it, thanks for watching. I hope this uh, you know maybe gives you a good idea and um, yeah, peace out.